been with us. Well, after years of clamor by Nigerians, President Bola Tinubu has ordered the full implementation of the Stephen Oronsai report. And if the report is implemented, uh, several agencies of the government would be either merged, scrapped, or relocated. This towards cutting down on the cost of governance. After more than a decade of gathering dust, the Orosaye report finally sees the light of day. President Bola Tinubu has taken a decision to tread where others feared by fine-tuning and restructuring the operations of government to cut costs and improve efficiency. The implementation involves merging, subsuming and scrapping agencies with similar functions. The president has also constituted a committee that will work within a 12-week period to actualize this new directive. The National Agency for Control of AIDS, HIV AIDS, NACA to be merged with the Center for Disease Control in the Federal Ministry of Health. National Emergency Management Agency to be merged with the National Commission for Refugee Migration and Internally Displaced Persons. Now what that means is that uh, a number of agencies, commissions, and some departments have actually been scrapped. Some have been merged, while others have been subsumed. The Federal Executive Council meeting also received the report submitted by the Interministerial Panel, set up to review the affairs of the National Social Investment Programme. Significant recommendations were approved by President Tinubu, and these include social security payments to vulnerable households, payment of unemployment benefits, a social consumer credit program, among others. Comprising 60 million Nigerians is to resume immediately with the proviso, with the important proviso that every beneficiary will be identified by their NIN, National Identity Number, and their BVN. And what we're looking to do here is the triangulation of this data set to ensure that not only are we using uh, the register that is properly, properly been, been uh, uh, populated, but that we also do proper verification of every individual that will benefit from, from that investment, uh, that social investment program. For the Ministry of Works, approval was given for the construction of a 700-kilometer coastal road from Lagos through coastal states to cross river states. It goes through Lagos, goes through um, the Lake Deep Sea port, goes through uh, Ogun State, Ondo State, Delta, by, uh, Bayelsa, Port Harcourt, Akwaibum to Cross River. But we also have two spores, you know, spores that lead to the north. That goes from uh, the ongoing Badagri Sokoto Road and the one that leads to the Transhara uh, Road that goes from Ogoja down to Cameroon. All eyes will now be on President Tinubu's administration as he takes bold steps towards the implementation of a report considered to be the silver bullet in restructuring and reforming Nigeria's civil service through the rationalization of agencies. Femi Akonde, TVC News, Abuja. All right, and to talk some more, uh, give some fresh perspectives on this uh, decision by the Tinubu presidency to implement the uh, 2012 uh, Stephen Oronsai report. We have joining us in the studio a lawyer. Sunji Abdul Hamid. Thank you very much for joining us again on uh, TVC Breakfast. Thank you for having me. It's my pleasure to be here. Absolutely. Thank you. Uh, and the pleasure is uh, mutual. But uh, what are your thoughts on, on this? Many have lauded the Tinubu administration for this bold move, but uh, you know, just how bold is it? Only uh, earlier in the week, Femi Falano, a senior advocate of Nigeria, said the law of the report was obsolete, uh, a, a position that was also replicated at the House of Reps National Assembly yesterday. They too said that looking at the way 
uh, times are changing, uh, there may be need to review that report. So uh, what do you make of it as we start off? Yeah, let me start by saying that uh, I, uh, implementing the report uh, is a good move. It's good thinking and it's, uh, it's in line with uh, the, 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 the mood of the of this, uh, country in terms of uh, cutting costs. Mm -hmm. However, however, I align myself with the concerns of the National Assembly and the, and the, the Lannes, uh, senior sick, uh, Lannes sick, uh, Femi Falana. I, it's not about the pronouncement alone that matters. It's not about uh, 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 the readiness to match or rationalize or script or whatever of the uh, agencies and the MDAs. The most important thing is uh, we need to look into the planning. It must not be a rush rush thing. Just like uh, what we did in terms of, uh, I, that's my opinion, the subsidy. We're having the world we're having today because of the way Amanda subsidy was removed. It's not as if, uh, uh, don't let, I, won't, I don't want to go there because I am not a supporter of uh, subsidy must go. Uh, but the way Amanda was removed was so what I'm trying to say is that look, for us to have results or to get results uh, the, or the desired results from this uh, a, a, a pronouncement by the president, because I still call it pronouncement, because I, I don't believe in, a, I don't celebrate a, a paperwork. I celebrate implementation and results because I've seen a lot of paper, uh, a pronouncement in this country that have gone to nowhere. Even this one that we're talking about, the president, Jonathan, set it up. He made an attempt to say for implement it. Nothing was done. President, former President Buhari was, came, came into power, yes. set up a committee to review it or whatever, nothing thereafter for after eight years. Mm -hmm. So until I see the result of this too, that's when I will roll out my drum and praise it. But I think it's a good uh, effort. Like I said, in the, what we should be looking at here is the planning and implementation. But uh, from, the, from, the, from the pronouncement by the government, the, the committee that was set up, seven-man committee, were given just uh, uh, 12, 12, 12, 12, weeks. 12, 12, 12 weeks. For me, it may not be enough. That would be a rush job. Who are these members of the committee? These are the people who are busy with, other, with even the government uh, uh, business before now. And who, people, those who do this uh, work must have time. So even look at those laws. That, 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 you, you, you recall that uh, the report was, when it was done, it was about 12 years ago. How many years ago now? And then they, at that time, there are about 500 plus uh, um, MDAs. But today, we are, we are told we have over 1,000. Were those captured in the report? Were they going to do a, a new... So that's why I said they need to review. That's why I align myself with the National Assembly and the chief. That they need to review that report before the implementation. Let's see the, the intended and unintended consequences of it. Because that was, that was what was not put into consideration when subsidy was removed. The intended and unintended consequences were not put into consideration. So let's look at the intended and unintended consequences of this, of this uh, implementation. Otherwise, it will be a, another solution that will create more multiple of uh, problems uh, for us. So you see, we need to look at that. We need Mr. to plan where. We need to, we need to, we need to do it. Uh, Mr. Abdouhamid, you, you agree with me that uh, the, this initiative of this, or this step taken by the federal government is to cut the cost of governance. And that's why uh, the federal government has set up a seven-man panel committee to look at this uh, development in the next uh, 12 weeks. And which you said uh, that the weeks are not enough. Well, why are you towing this particular line? Because if the federal government decide not to even set up a committee or just move forward to implement, Nigerians will definitely criticize that development. So tell us, what are those things that uh, we would definitely see as the effects of this uh, policy if fully implemented? Firstly, I do not believe, I do not agree with the, uh, the government that uh, uh, it, it is meant to cut costs for now, the way it's, it's been handled. If it's about cutting costs, we won't be told nobody will lose his job. What, what, so if, if nobody is losing job, what, what, how are you going to cause the cost? I don't understand. So it is, the sincere part of it is that people will lose job. If you match, for example, EFCC, ICPC, and uh, CCP, the code of together, behavior. I think we'll have two, uh, uh, two chairmen. I think we'll have two directors, and, as, as some of them will not go, or they will be subsumed and merged, or be given another, another role in that uh, ministry. So how are we cutting costs? If they will see less easy. We have a bloated... Uh, oh, uh, we, 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 have, we have to wait for the outcome we, of the committee. You see, we don't have to wait. That's the problem we are, we are having in this country. You see, 
when government bring out policies, it is the responsibility of the citizen to examine it, stray it, raise concerns, so that government will look into it. If they are not looking at it, at it before, they will now realize that, look, oh, so we need to look into this area as well. So that we won't go and there. You see, when you, when you raise concern or, 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 or raise observation regarding of, uh, the policy of government, you are not against government. You are not an, 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 an anti-government. You are trying to also help the government. I believe that criticism, criticism is also patriotism. It's not only when you praise but, government. But when it's constructive. It, 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 that, is, that is subjective. That constructive criticism is subjective. It depends on how you are looking at it. Even, even if uh, one of the presidential candidates, Peter Obi, in the person of Peter Obi, has also lauded this move by the government, but he too has called for caution. Yeah. I have also, also said that that's a good move. I, I, so and when you say it's a good move, that does not mean it's perfect. Those who are in giving this, making these policies are human beings. They are not invaluable. They are, and it's not as if they, they can see tomorrow. Okay. So the, what we are saying here is not about criticism. It's not about so, uh, condemning the, the what We are trying to draw the attention of government to the fact that, look, you must look at these situations. Otherwise, the problem you are trying to solve may become another, may become another problem tomorrow. So if you are saying nobody will be, because the position of the government now is that nobody will be, will be, will be, will be sacked or will lose their job. Assuming they now started the implementation, people are now losing job. Government is not, there's no plan for how to, to give them a different package. There will be no plan to how, how they will be settled. Is that, would that not be a problem? So, so and again, how do we even go around this issue of truly cutting down the cost of governance? If um, if if former president Jonathan tried it, in fact, at that point, at the point of review and all of that, you were the one that called for it. As in you, the former president called for it, and after the Orontaye report was done, it was done with the admission. You called for an implementation, and at the end of the day. You rejected most of the recommendations, even the ones that you accepted, you couldn't, um, you know, do it. And then entering Muhammad Buhari, he too couldn't, um, you know, do much with it. People have cited so many reasons, political considerations, coming elections at the time, and so on and so forth. But now, uh, you know, this administration wants to dabble uh, in, into it. Uh, I, I, how do we move past? Do, are we really going to see this coming into fruition? Or are these part of the considerations that they too saw? Do you think they saw all these considerations and that was why they had to you know, stop the work? I think we need to cross our fingers to see whether or not it will come to fruition. Because uh, what the current administration is doing now has been done by, by the past. The administration in the past, they've, done the, they've, 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 made, they've showed their intention to implement it. And nothing thereafter. And now so the reps are this saying government, they even read all those reports. This government has also showed its intention to implement it, and it has not been implemented. Yeah. And then we are saying, okay, if you are seriously uh, thinking of doing it, don't just go and rush into doing it. You need to do a thorough planning. You need to do a well thought out uh, research. And then if, if, you know, this, one of these things we are talking about, some of them were created, again, MDAs, some of them were created by, by law. You have to look into the law. Within seven, uh, within uh, how many weeks do you call that? Um, uh, Twelve weeks. Twelve weeks, weeks, three months. That will be about three months. So, so these people can they can they can they be able to uh, to look at these laws and see whether or not they can do a thorough job? If, what I was saying is that if you want to do a thorough job, a job that will not tomorrow give us another problem, we need there needs to to, to review. There needs to look into it. There needs to look at the likely consequences and the what are the plan to mitigate the consequences. These are the issues we are talking about. It's not just about saying we are merging, we are, we are, we are this and that. It, it, that will not alone be. After merger, what happens? Let's look at the timing at the moment. You, you have been uh, saying something about this particular timing of 12 weeks, not enough. Mm -hmm. Let me take you back to the memory lane that um, this particular Steve Aronson's report, uh, the committee was set up in 2010 and came out with a report in 2012. So what time are you suggesting to the federal government to consider all of this for uh, the committee to be able to come out with something tangible that will not cause a lot of uh, issues or rancor in the country? If they want to do this implementation, bearing in mind again, I forget, that even this current government, upon the, being sworn into the government, they've created more ministries. Mm. These ministries were not captured in the original reports. Mm. What are they going to do with it? That, those are not part of the issue to be looking to? Is that what we're saying? Okay. Are, you, are you getting my point? So these are the, these are the issues, that, and this is why I say I, I align myself with the position of the nationals of the House of Rep, that the government should review the report 
to, 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 to align with this current situation that we have now. What is in that report is no longer what is on ground now. So some of them are there, yes. In fact, at the time that that report was made, there was no NFIU. There was no, there was no, there was no Ministry of uh, Blue Economy. There, there are so many ministries that are not in existence at, at the time. So that, that, you have to look at it. And if you look at these two things, you need to look into the laws. But they were created by law. You can't, it's not, it's, you can't do it by fiat. You have to look at the law. The law has to be repeat. So and then the margin... What I mean, are you suggesting? I, I, I think... Uh, also, minus, we can be doing it in a, in a, in a what's it called? Batches. Uh, batches. And then uh, look at plus or minus. Why you everything? Okay. And then uh, you've also harped on likely and unlikely consequences. You believe that, you know, job losses will be the order of the day. I believe. If, if implemented. So how... So if, if truly we are, our intention is to cut costs. If it is to cut There must be, people must lose jobs. Was, why was the resolution report uh, uh, committee set up? Was to see that it was the, the point is that why was our complaint that there are bloated uh, staff that we have staff who are not even doing anything that they are not supposed to even be right. a, a, a there that there is need for us to look at it same line the the ministry at the MBAs and look at those who are whose functions are similar to that one that was the reason that it was the purpose and it's to reduce cost so if you are talking about and for me the the, the cost we are talking about here this is not even the only way this this is just a minor. Of reduction of the cost we are talking about here. The issue of salary. The major, yes, in the oral salary report. Mm -hmm. I'm talking. If we are talking about cutting costs, we need to focus ourselves, our our eyes on the national assembly itself and the executive, the presidency, and the executive. They must reduce cost. It's not about saying it and not doing it. The presidency and the national assembly are not reducing cost. We are talking about reduction of cost of governance, and we are talking about in the situation where we are now. But we, we are priority. Priority buying five SUV is a priority. Building library is a priority. In an economy that we're talking about, there's no money. So we, should, we need to reduce frivolity. Those in government need to leave, reduce frivolities and their unnecessary expenses. Less, less, less. Okay. So in that regard, we'll cut more costs. If, if, if we reduce this, for example, in the presidency, we have so many essays on the information. I don't even know which one is which one. They are doing almost the same, the same job. You start from there. Those people are not, are not doing for free. They are all being paid. Not even small money. Whenever the president travels, tra most of them travel with him. Yeah, but then the president has, has also gone on to cut down the entourage that travels. The, 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 it's, not, it's not reflecting the way the president is doing. It's, it's moving. It does not. That, that directive is not reflecting. And that's why I said, you don't say something and not do it. It's not, it's not what the president said. The directive the president has given. Do you have facts to back it? I saw the, 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 the convoy of the president when he came to Lagos. And what we are told is that 20. Uh, uh, are these enough facts? But, uh, but I, for me. I, I, I don't for me. Fact. For me. That's why I say subject. Right. For me. Right. Me. I don't even think I don't I don't know how you know much convinced that you would be because mm. you know we all know the, the president and the, the crowd that follows him. Mm. The last time he came to Lagos too, there was a large crowd and many of them were not even his government. Yeah. Uh, uh, that, that's why I said aides. Many of they, them they, were. They, 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 if the president is not encouraging it, they will not do right. it. The president can tell them if you want to join me, don't follow my comfort. Come on your home and come and join me there after. People will not know that they were together. They will call people and they will go on their home. The president will go on his own. That would, but if the way we are seeing it now, it appears they were, they were coming, they were all together because it's at the same time. So if you are trying to, you can tell them, look, we have done this, uh, this directive on grant. I don't want people to see me as being uh, floating the directive. If you want to join me on your own to so wherever I'm going to, you have the permission. They don't follow our, don't be part of our comfort. At least we are not seeing it. I'm not saying it's still good. They at least we are not seeing it. But if we are seeing it, people will not. People will see it as uh, what is the president talking about? So for me, cutting costs should not be only focused on the uh, recent reports. There are so many areas where costs can be cost, and that will reduce. You see, most of these agencies that I'm talking about, yeah, maybe that is the way that we are the cost. They, 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 it not even cost are uh, reduced because they, these people that are coming will not go and occupy offices of another person who has already occupied his office. They will need to maintain their, retain their office they have. Most of those services have been, we are, we, are, we are paying rent, huge amount of rent. And we have property lying valueless, in, particularly in Lagos. I can give you one. There is this uh, former defense house. If the government decides to renovate that, we have a uh, ministry MDA up that place. In other words, if you want to do, you can even, all ministries, we have a, an office. We have our 25 uh, story building or so. And the, the, and the very mighty one, if you know what the, the bid I'm talking about. It's been abandoned since Abacha's regime. Is there and we are paying rent. 
These are the issues we are looking at. We should be looking at. Yes, I'm not saying we should not be looking at the report. I, I am in support of reduction of uh, margin, uh, rationalizing, uh, scraping, or whatever of the of the MDAs. There are so many MDAs that I don't. If you ask me now, as I'm sitting with you, even the ministry that we have now, I can't. For me to, to name ten, I'll be thinking. To even mention their heads, the ministers, all the people who are, who are popular, I do what I will remember. Before we go, what if um, the committee uh, suggests to uh, the, the, the presidency President. that um, we don't need to let people out of their job? What we need to do is to cut down their allowances and their salaries to make that position not that juicy. What would be your reaction to that development? That, that would all fly. Oh, no, that would even fly. I don't even see them do that. So whether you reduce or not, what we're talking about, we're talking about numbers. The higher the numbers, the more money you pay. The, no matter how, no matter, the if, if, you, if you as a presidency, if you as a National Assembly are not reducing your own allowances and salary, and you want to, people who, people who, people, are, are, in the near future, I expect people that will go to, on this issue we're talking about, this implementation, don't, Hold it, put it down. People will go to court. That was even where I was heading. People will go to I court. Asked to that, uh, if that is inevitable, that job losses will, will, will be the order of the day. So how should the federal government, you know, what, what proposals, what um, you know, recommendations do you think can be no, if the government to is... curb the, the lawsuits that, that may follow? The NLC has already said that it will definitely reject any move that will lead to losses of jobs of their members. Of course, of course, they must. Because even in, the, the unemployment right. in, the, in this country, we don't even have to allow people to lose jobs. You know, when people in, in, in Nigeria, when one person is working, almost everybody, that, those are benefiting that him, they be like, like 20, 30 or more. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So if one person loses his job, it means about 30 people are, 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 will, be, will be hungry, or will go hungry. So Some have me, said maybe we should develop the for agricultural me, sector. For me, notwithstanding, notwithstanding, notwithstanding what I've said, notwithstanding what I've said, mm -hmm. it is a reality mm -hmm. that we must reduce the number of people in our public uh, service. There are people who don't have any business in there. So there, that is the reality on ground. We need to do that. But we must do it in a way that people will not be hurt. And that's why I say you must look plan for the intended consequences and, and unintended consequences. Unintended consequences is a situation whereby, well, I, I call it unintended for the government because they are saying nobody will lose job. But if it happens later after, it becomes unintended consequences for them. How are you going to sort them out? So we are talking about all this because people are all this because that is the people see that avenue as the only means of getting job. There is no enabling environment for people. To, so that government should also be working in that. Make sure so that people who are their home will not even be thinking of government uh, uh, work. Will be doing because the, 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 the salaries are juicy salaries. Not not really. Some are people are just really? not really not really. for those who are in top position. Mm. For those who are in the lower cadre, it, it, it may not be juicy. It's just because probably that, that's the only option left for them to do. There's no other thing they can do. There's no other job they can do. Some of them that are not, some of them you see in police, 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 uh, uh, policemen. Some of them are not there because they have the passion. Some of them are there just because let me just take something. So if you enable, if, if environment is enabled, the the urge to go to public uh, whatever. I'm not. I'm not saying it's bad. They to create avenue to just create job for people. In the ministry. That's what it's politics. Most of these people in there, they got there by politics. They, 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 most politicians want to say we are working. We are creating jobs. And the only way they can create jobs is to fix people in the ministries and the, and the agency and departments. If there is no way the government, the people will not lose jobs. If you scrap at EFCC now, the head of EFCC in Kuala, in Ilori, in Sokoto, in whatever, would they still be operating? Or would, or would they going to say, go and take over the job of uh, the head of F uh, NFIU, if, if that is our ICPC? We hope that uh, the federal government will get this right and ensure that. Um, People will not lose their jobs. I'll be able to manage. In reality, people will lose their job. They just, they, they, just plan. they just plan. They just plan. They just plan. They just plan on how to, how, to resolve, how to mitigate it. Uh, and you've said if, a year will be fine, uh, you know, to, to look at all these gray areas. Not even to full implementation. Even that will be to be doing it in, even, a, in, a, in, a, in batches. In batch, batch. Because we are in a critical situation, okay. and you must, right. we must tread cautiously. Right. Otherwise, we will create more problems. Okay. I said this when subsidy was removed. That all right. subsidy removal is a... <laughs> we just Sorry, have, sir, we've, run, we've run out of time. You say you don't like to go there, but yet we see you. Going I need to, to, I need to, because it's, uh, it's right. your problem. The federal government is doing Bye, all the things past to, to cushion the effect on Nigerians. We hope we see it. Gentlemen, that, that's all the time we have, uh, you know, for, for this um, engagement. Thank you so much, uh, Tunji Abdul Hamid, uh, for your um, contributions on the program. We appreciate Thank you for having me. It's my pleasure to be with you. Thank you.
All right, still on TVC Breakfast Saturday, we went